Hello, I'm Delia Colon, and this is WEDU Arts Plus. For Tampa native Kimberly Cummings, the arts have always been part of her life. But it wasn't until later in life that she discovered her passion for pottery and her talent for creating unique, functional pieces that others can enjoy. I was born and raised here in Tampa, Florida. I spent 11 years in Los Angeles acting and I came back to try to take my kids and remove myself from a broken marriage. And I needed some joy. What I could do is find a way of making something to put my focus and my hands into something important, joyful, happy, and I was 10 blocks from the clay factory on Dale Mabry. And I kept passing this sign and I thought that it was flashing, saying, you know you've always wanted this, call today. And it was clay class. And for some reason that particular day, I said, you know I have always wanted to do that. My first clay class was with Kim Kirchman. Kim and I were invited to start the Tampa Tour de Clay together, along with me and 1415 other potters, and it's, it's my clay family. My name is Katie Dietz, and I'm the executive director of Florida Craft Art. Florida Craft Art was founded in 1951 by two art professors at Stetson University. The whole concept was to promote fine craft as art. Kimberly has been a gallery artist here for many years. Her work is absolutely perfect, beautiful. You'd see every finish, every drawing, the firing, you don't see any cracks or problems with it. The craftsmanship is beautiful. Also, it's very original. Wedging the clay is something you have to do, whether you're throwing on the wheel or hand building, and you're basically forcing the air out of the clay. This is a hollow handle. It's just amazing. Hain Bayless taught me how to make this. It's one of his signature attachments, but I do make it my own. Thank you, Hain. And I usually have to make quite a few to get the one that I like for the sangria pitcher that we're making. So many people have inspired me, and I, I don't want to lose track of that, and I never take that for granted. That is the inspiration that I use to create a piece of what I make. So I all, always knew how to make a bowl, but one of those people taught me how to smash the side of a bowl and make it be more than acceptable, make it be a, a point of interest to that bowl. The butterflies are out in the garden. The butterflies, the birds, the sound of the fountain inspire me. So that when I go to sleep, whatever I didn't realize had given me so much joy from the garden that morning, that day, that evening when Bill and I sit in front of the fireplace that I go to sleep and then I dream these things on pieces of pottery that I've never seen anywhere else. It is just so not cliche. I touch clay and something happened to my body. It was like an electric current. And I immediately wasn't thinking about anything else. My mom became a fashion illustrator for Moss Brothers and Wolf Brothers. I was thinking about this two days ago and never ever made the connection that that could be why I was driven to pottery. But she didn't teach me ever how to draw or paint or anything. I would just look over her shoulder and she knew I wanted to be an actress so there was no reason for her to teach me that. But now of course all I want to do is draw like she did. Kimberly's ceramic work is extremely detailed and meticulously created. And she creates them with the people in mind, it's particularly if she has a commission for someone for a wedding, she'll think about the couple that's being married or an anniversary, and she'll create it in that manner. So this is my first ever sloth, and he is not going to be this mucky green, that's all wax. So I could 
scrape off this wax but I waxed everything here so that I could just paint all over with a blue sky. So this white that you see in the background is a base glaze that I start all of my pieces with and then when it dries the next day I pencil draw the sloth, the letter S, the trees, and the University of Florida and Florida State University. I draw all of that for hours and hours. And right now I'm going to finish it and carry these little polka dots around the perimeter of the Sangria pitcher. And then this will go in the kiln today. What I think of every single time I'm making a bowl, a plate, a platter, a mug is the connection that that person that receives that piece is then going to have. Their fork is going to scrape along the platter. Their mouth is going to touch the rim of the mug that I made. Their spoon is going to go into the ice cream bowl or cereal bowl. And then someone nourishes themselves on that piece. Learn more about her work at KimberlyPottery.com.